Tänast tagasi konkurentsile ja iga üks on nende raportsi teha. Ja miks, tõne pärast, et siit poolt vaadates on tore vaadate, et te olete kõikele koha. Ma loodan, et te olid maitses. Ma loodan, et mõnedki jutud sai räägitud ja mõnedki kohtumised peetud. Ja nüüd ootab meid ees neli täiesti suure pärast kohtumist neia suure pärast ei ilmud. Esimene ettekanne on kriindise keeles, aga sellest natuke hiile. Ja mõned äärenäkkused, et tegelikult on tore, et see konverentsa välja nüüdud ja tegelikult on tore ka see, et sellest tehakse, kuidas võtta, ülekanne, aga see ka liigistatakse. Nii et need kollegid, kes ei ole siin, ja keda te päeva arvastate, siis palun hanke teada meile, et seda materjali saab teegi vahemude osta, vaadata ja ka mõelda selle üle. Nüüd tagasi siis peale lõuna kohta nii palju, et nad ütlevad siin kui poole nelja, nii siis on väikene messi ja kohvi paus. Ja esimene hetke kanne on hära doktor Allan Olo. Tema räägib kindlise keeles. Ja olge hea oma laulast natuke muljetele sellele, et kas keegi on seal, kes nagu oska kui oli ingiliselt rohkem või midagi, et kui te sõna või lause sebasiks, et te saate küsida kellegi käest. Et võtke endale ta paar minutit, et kuidas teil laudatel selle ingilise keele tajumisega on, sest õlged ei tule. secretions of either epinephrine uh, or, and or cortisol. 
Uh, and that's really good because if you know we're dealt, if we're dealing with a stressful situation, we sometimes need to have this. We, we all always need to have it for us to be able to deal with the stress. But um, too much of it is also a bad thing, and a lot of us today have too much cortisol. And this is the uh, effect of excess cortisol on the body. Uh, and, and there's a number of reasons why we have an excessive amount of cortisol, which I'm going to get to. But suffice to say that just about every type of mental or physical condition uh, will deteriorate due to excessive amounts of cortisol. So there's uh, two nervous systems in your body. One is the sympathetic nervous system, and the other is the parasympathetic. The sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight mechanism. That's what requires the cortisol for you to be able to, on well, the caveman days, if you were there protecting your family and there's a saber-toothed tiger at the mouth of the cave, you'd get ready and the cortisol would cause your heart to pump and it would shunt all the blood to the different muscles so that you're ready to either fight that saber tooth or, Jesus, I'm going to get out of here and run away real fast. That's kind of what it's all about. So you've got the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight, and your parasympathetic nervous system, which recharges your batteries. All of our batteries need to be recharged like the batteries in your phone. The phone finally dies at the end of the day and you've got to plug it in. Well, we have to plug ourselves in. The way we plug ourselves in is by sleeping. And during sleep is when the parasympathetic nervous system is primarily activated. During REM, deep REM sleep specifically, when the eyelids are kind of going dip, 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 then you're having this amazingly deep sleep that recharges your batteries. Well, if there's too much cortisol in your system, you don't get that deep REM sleep. And um, increased chronic daily cortisol levels um, decrease the REM, and the causes of sympathetic nervous system overload uh, is, um, well, there's a lot of different causes, but one of them that we're going to focus on today is a cause that you would not normally have thought of, and that's called the intervertebral subluxation and spinal dyskinesia. That means that there's the subluxation, and what is a Subluxation, you might ask. Well, let's see if this explains it a little bit. So, there's your brain and your spinal cord, and the brain, of course, controls all of the mechanisms of the body. The brain and spinal cord being the first differentiation of the cells when you're in the fetal, when you're a fetus. The first thing that you see at about six weeks is the brain and spinal cord developing, nothing else. So the spinal cord carries the transmission of messages from the brain to the various parts of the body, enabling the body to function. If you don't have that, well, you don't function at all. And the spinal cord is housed and protected by 24 movable bones that uh, sit on top of one another in an S-shaped fashion from the side, sort of like a big spring. And um, between those bones are these things called intervertebral discs, which are made of mucopolysaccharide polysaccharide type of jelly almost with some, some um, ligaments on the outside, so they're kind of bouncy. Here, here you see what happens when the bones above and below, when there's a notch in the bone above and a notch in the bone below, the two notches come together. If the disc degenerates, the bones stop moving properly, then the nerves that come out from between the bones, which take the messages from the brain to the other various parts of the body, become impinged. It only takes nine microns of pressure, uh, which is nine nine uh, millionths of a milliliter of, of, of mercury pressure, almost nothing at all, to cause some interference with your normal transmission of messages to various parts of the body. And this is showing here, um, depending upon where the subluxation is, all the different parts of the body that are that messages are being carried to. So when bones stop moving properly, they can cause some interference with the 31 pairs of nerves that come out from between the bones, taking the vital messages from the brain to the different parts of the body. Uh, when you have these, uh, these subluxations, this is primarily, I'm also an osteopathic doctor as well as a chiropractor, and I'm a natural medicine doctor, and I'm also a traditional Chinese medicine doctor. Over 35 years, I've collected a number of different degrees. Chiropractic was my first one. So that's what we're talking about here today, but basically what chiropractors do is they check your spine primarily to see whether the bones are all moving properly. Sometimes they stop moving due to some type of muscular imbalance or some stress, and of course cortisol levels cause increased tension of muscles which attach to the bones, and then the bones don't move properly, and then there's irritation, inflammation, compression of nerves, and interference with nerve transmission. 
Basically, chiropractors look for the interference in nerve transmission by analyzing the spine from top to bottom in individual segments, marking that all out, and then proceeding to use either their hands or instruments to correct the subluxations, which are to improve the motion, the mobility of the bones, so that there's less pressure on the nerves that go out to the various parts of the body. And that uh, enables the body to function better and also alleviates pain. Uh, so let's take a look at the next one. Ah, oh, I did something wrong here. Wait a minute. There we go. Let's try that. Here we go. So this is just showing um, a little bit of fancy technology here. And you can see that that's how the messages are being transmitted through the spine. And next one. So, the interference of nerve transmission can affect everything from the movement, of course, because the nerves carry all the motor transmission to the muscles, to also the organ systems. And uh, chiropractic can also help when there's some type of dysfunction due to nerve interference of the organ systems. Here are all the different organ systems. Uh, what do we got? 449 left. Is that what that says? Okay, so chiropractic treatment, as I said, we use either the hands or instruments to move the bones and restore nerve function. We also use computerized, uh, pretty advanced technology that was invented in hospitals in the United States. When the disc, almost all of us were all, how many of you are sitting at desks for about eight hours a day, put your hands up? Good body of incense, the big up of uh yeah, good body. Yeah, okay, good. Basically almost everybody, right? Well, that causes uh, a lot of stress on the discs, and one of the biggest things that's happening now today is degenerative disc disease, uh, which is the discs getting smaller. This is on the bottom, the focus of and it's causing all kinds of problems for a lot of people. So we have this technology here, which opens up those discs, and then opens up the nerves where the holes, where the, uh, uh, holes are that accommodate the nerve so that you've got better nerve transmission. So that was a picture there of the non-surgical spinal disc decompression. Uh, so chiropractic treatment methods, again, you can do soft tissue mobilization, neurological muscle reprogramming. I invented a new treatment technology, which is why I lecture all over the world. It's called Trigenics. And it is a neurological muscle reprogramming system that resets the way the brain communicates with the body to instantly alleviate pain and increase strength and movement. So trigenics would be one. Therapeutic exercise prescriptions. So all of our patients get exercise prescriptions. If you correct the movement of the bones, but you don't fix the muscles attaching to them, then they don't they don't start to move properly. Nutritional counseling and physical therapy modalities. The benefits of chiropractic care, you can see them all here. There's a lot of them. I think we've discussed them already. We've got three minutes to do our own stress buster exercises. When you're at the ROT working on the computer, so the first one you're going to do is this. Take your hand, put it over the the back of your head here, bring your head down and grab the muscle that's tight. Do you want to translate? Grab the muscle that's tight and breathe in. And as you breathe out, pull back, but don't let it move and pull on the muscles. And then relax and pull the head down. Then go to the other side. Mm -hmm. And the other one that's really important is this muscle right here. How many of you could follow you see a say on stressed sia? Could follow you? Yeah? Okay, so here we go. Nemodi and nemodi, very strange movement. Grab here, grab that big muscle. Breathe in. Breathe out and pull on the muscle as you press down. Hinga sissa, uesti, balyas, ya dese pole, hinga sissa, ya balyas. Now my wife, this is my beautiful wife here, she'll remind me of something I didn't say. So you have one minute and 30 seconds. What did I not say that you want me to say? Because you'll tell me in the car afterwards. And yeah, you didn't say, huh? oh, I got everything. Oh my God, that's incredible. Thank you. You can give me a hand for that because that's unusual. Okay. 
so that was the other exercise. And then finally, all you want to do is make sure that you take a break and sit up. Use your shoulders like this and sit up on a little um, air-filled cushion. If you, we have some of them at our clinic, and if not, you can get some. Little air-filled cushions will change the pressure of the disc. Explain that, so that the blood supply and the nutrition gets in there, otherwise it just keeps that as well. Another one for you is to the, this is the second one, the second one is to the first one, the second one, and then you have to put the disc in there. And this is the one that we have to do with the first one, the first one, the first one, the first one, et mis saab siis vadeda sellest selle lõhkse ees ja te saate teha seal kuusa ringe, et te need diskid on kuvad liikumises. Muidu kui te staatilised istutuses surve nagu väga suur. Good, so, did you like my presentation? Okay, you can give me a hand with that.